Hello, hello, hello. What's happening here? All right, mate? All right. How's it going? So you had a probably guess looking at that, what we're gonna be up to. We're going out, commercial potting. So welcome back. I'm gonna get my gear on, we're waiting for Damien, as always. <laughs> And we're going to be going out. Now I've got the wind slayer on today, so hopefully the uh, wind will be good and uh, well behaved. Dan's getting the dinghy revved up. Top tip for Bailiwick fishing here. My welly boot's wet from the uh, last trip. So, stick your foot in a carrier bag. <laughs> Toy it up and Bob's your uncle. There we are. Beautiful. Comes down, come to pick me up. Damien's still not here. He's uh, casually late. So he's in that little super dinghy. Look at that, look. Done to perfection. <laughs> As I nearly fall in. Just heading out of the boat here to the to the cheeky monkey. Hold tight. Sickness 21. There we go. She's idling, what are you about? Fish. Right before the action starts, I'll show you what's going on in here. Throttle controls, chart plotter, echo map another navigation and sounders and stuff like that vhf that's your safety so uh if you need any assistance or you can listen out for other people this handle here is for a searchlight first aid kit behind us normal radio watch and all these master switches bilge pump nav lights spreader lights deck lights rev counter damien's about to start the boat up straight up right so here's the winch if you haven't seen it before nice heavy duty winch just run off the hydraulics off the engine obviously everyone can see what that is there's some lights up here light bar on the top of the boat some life rafts another light up here light up here ray marine navigation on the top um, and yeah I think it's got on the top yet yeah, there you go the license number as well so if anyone was up above helicopter planes looking for you they can see the top what boat it is there's the uh, winch throttle there steering from the back stern steering if you stand here like this when you're coming up to the pots it's very handy you'll see Dan in a second uh, controlling the boat from there he's just untying the moorings there here is the pot where they slide out the back um, obviously as you'll see the pups get winched in there They're all stacked here and then they get slung out the back this is the bait table nice and neat nice height as well there we go we're off there's in control at the back okay they've just communicated damien's just taken over the uh, steering so this here is the commodore clipper and you see there's big 40 foot containers on the back of there. That brings all of our uh, freight in, food, um, packages. It goes in some serious rough weather, that. Uh, fantastic ship. You can go on that to Jersey. I go quite often. Ooh. Old lifeboat here. That's our lifeboat over there. 1704, 17 meters and number four made, I think. 
couple of uh, charter boats around here. Just going out the pier heads now is a uh, Musketeer, which is a, I think, what's that boat? Freight, eh? Freight, yeah. freight boat. So you'll see, what's that? Oh, okay, so that is just strictly a freight boat. So uh, hopefully we can get a bit closer to that. Now the lighthouse, which is just over there in front, St. Peterport uh, Breakwater or Lighthouse is undergoing maintenance. So it's covered up with some uh, scaffolding at the moment. There's a van down there, not accessible at present. Great fishing down there. Commercial fish key just over here. All the commercial fishing boats are there, other than like ones like Dan's or this one here, but that's where most of them go. This here, we call it the pool. It's swinging moorings. Boatworks Plus, which is a fueling station for uh, any of the boats around here. And just there is Castle Cornet, which is a old wartime fortification. Hold your noses. <laughs> Not good. Stinking dogfish, it's gotta be Damien's, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Damien's got a fetish for the stinky um, things. Slimy thing, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, oh, look at that for a close up of the clipper. Fine vessel. <laughs> cough, cough. There's actually a boat doing some maintenance on the back of the clipper there. You see it right underneath, it's the harbour. They're just having a look at it. Down there now. Oh, so uh, one of the other guys on board today has just said there's a diver. Uh, down underneath at the moment, so they're obviously looking at something on it. Rock salmon or dogfish, as most of you all know it as, the lesser spotted. Hard wear and bait, very tough skin. One of my favourites. Big bait knife. Needs a sharpen. Needs a sharpen for sure. But this is what you'd see if you entered St. Peterport Harbour. A lovely town, very old buildings, and uh, well worth a visit if you're looking for somewhere small. Right, so Liam here actually works as a commercial, he's full-time commercial uh, deckhand. So he's on one of the odd commercial boats today. <clears throat> but it's his day off, he reckons, so he's come out <laughs> to give us a hand. So there'll be three of them. I'll be filming, so I get the easy job. There's a bit of a sweat, a uh, bit of a wind from the, uh, from the north, it's just pushing this way a bit, but nothing to worry about. Cygnus ploughing through it. And we're heading to the first set of pots. All right, here we go. Straight into the sun. First set of pots, string of 10. Dan's on the winch in the second. He's just engaged the uh, winch. We're going to start winching now. Ooh, Neil is going to go in the cabin. Damien's uh, baiting up the pots, taking the catch, Dan's winching, and uh, Liam's uh, hairdressing. Right. <laughs> Second pot, another brown crab, no lobsters yet. Lots 
of brown crabs. Check it if they're soft. Some smaller ones. Here we go. The spirits are raised. There's the first lobster on the boat, the trip. So keep up. See the anode in the pot there? I'll show you one in a second. That stops the uh, the pots rotting. So that, oh, another lobster. That stops the pots rotting. It basically erodes that first. Another lobster, beautiful. You see just in front of the boat, this other buff here is the other end of it. There's another crab there. Once again, checking if they're hard. It's a male. I think this is, what's we got there? Four, five, six, seven. Pot number eight. Nice. Brown right. crab in there. See anything coming towards us? Just here. A very seaweed covered buff that's just about to get cleaned. So that was a good catch for the first uh, for the first set. We had a few brown crabs in there. I think a couple of lobsters. Good start. Now all the pots are on the deck here. They're all going to be ready to get uh, paid out. They're going to go straight out the back. So I'm going to stand out the way. He's giving it a haircut. The reason you do this is so that other boats can see the uh, boys and hopefully they don't go over them and also so you can make sure you pick out yours uh, next time you come to haul. They're all marked, believe it or not. <laughs> there's a G. <laughs> so there's, the, there's Damien and uh, Dan and there, Liam's doing the work. And in a second, you'll see us, those buffs there will go out first and then those pots will follow in the reverse order that they came onto the boat. So last on is first off. We'll get them all displayed out and we'll be on to the next ones. Here we go. It's chucking the buffs out. So that's it. The rope's getting deployed out there, that massive coil of it off the front. And that will be the first pot to go. Take up the slack and oh. Time of year. That's a nice, uh, nice male. Wind's picked up, definitely. Second pot coming up. 
coming up fast. What are brown crabs again? That little lobster there. He's going back. There he goes. Released. Now the lobster. One hooker. in the next one right so we had a few crab out of that hole it was a impressive amount of brown crab there pretty good so we're going to get these pots out and we're going to be on to the next string look at the seagulls here this is because there's a sewage out for out full pipe here so they're obviously diving for the uh well i'll leave the rest to you it's a lobster pot here another one or another two actually it's a telephone yeah <laughs> it's a telephone no Look claws one gun over the side hello <laughs> ah, crayfish! Hey, <laughs> baby one, but it's a cray. The captain's got it. Johnny Ray, Johnny Ray. Is that the first crayfish board here, Dad? It is. Yes, man. <laughs> first crayfish aboard the boat, and it's Dan's boat. Damien's got it. Here we go. Another lobster's coming up. The running pattern here. Another lobster. Nice brown crab in there. Two lobsters. Three lobsters, in fact. Give you a closer look. Nice brown crab there. That one there. See you later. Captain spoken. That's it for the uh, for this string. The buff's coming behind. It's going to get cleaned out. We're going to get these out. That wind has really whipped up. It's freezing cold. <laughs> if you haven't seen what happened there, the winch spins and rotates. And Damien's got the window open there, and it's just got him soaked. <laughs> That's naughty, eh, Dan? <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, we'll get these out. We'll go on to the next. That's it. Always checking them to make sure they're so they're solid and not soft. You can generally tell when they're soft because they're white. Sometimes you, people call them lanterns. Oh, oh, nice there. lobster. Nice one. Soft one, there you go. That's a lantern, so it's soft. But no weight to it. No weight at all. So it's just changed its shell. <laughs> this, oh, look at that. Thinks it can get out of there. Look, that's for the small crabs to get out. That's a creel pot, that. So as I saw, you saw in the super dinghy, they got side entrances. It doesn't matter which, uh, which way they land. Obviously, with these pots here, there's only the entrance on the neck. If it lands upside down, nothing's gonna get in, it won't fish. Creel pots, they can land anyway because they got side entrances, there's no pot neck on the top. Lobster, the brown crabs. That bait is disgusting. Whoa. It's tea meal. <laughs> What's for tea? gauge them all later so we'll check them all unless they really really look small but we'll check those because they're about the limit some of those are well in as we sure showed you before another load of brown crab There's some crab eh yeah, yeah it's good you're busy yes yeah so these ones here are all pinned hopefully do i trust liam it's <laughs> ah, a nice crab yeah look do i trust him yeah so it's pinned look so you just get that muscle there, you nick into it, and that stops it. Look, got my hand in there. Nothing's happening. There we go. Oh, the gauge in here, Anna. It's gauge of them all as well. Any that are too small are going straight back. 
So another lobster then? No. Nice brown crabs in there though. So that's the end of the string here, just here. Got a black sky. There you go. That's a nice one. Lovely crab. Another one. Take that all day long. Three lobsters in this pot. Two sides. Look at that, two sides. What do you do? That one there. Maybe Just three. Maybe three. A bit of check. No berries. That's a nice one. One hook up. The last one. Oh, that's the last pot. That's definitely. That's definitely size. What have you got there, Dan? Another crab pot. Oh, that looks in good nick. Yeah. We'll bait it up, eh? <laughs> this is a Greenpeace eco-friendly one. Oh yeah. <laughs> All sorts of things you can find on the ocean, eh? Right, so we're going on to the last set, which is a uh, string of ten, and then we're going home. I'll show you so far what we've had. Brown crabs, lobsters, nice load here. Some more brown crabs there. And our basket of brown crabs there. So all in all, it's been a good day, and some more lobsters and the crayfish, which we're going to measure after. They're just over the bow of the boat, is it? So we're just coming to the uh, nearer the end of the video. A bit different to when we left, wasn't it? Daylight, now it's on dark. So there's the different colours on the lighthouse there. And the other side of the pier heads. Guernsey's lit up and still looks great. Lemon freezing it is. <laughs> this is a great fishing mark in the summer months. Really, really popular with uh, visitors as well you can pretty much catch anything off here float fishing for mackerel and garfish bottom fishing for bream in the dark congering uh, dogfish there's a lot of records held off here uh, so if you come to Guernsey and you want a safe place to fish with your kids you just walk along here it's all got rails around it it's very safe and uh, you get to see all the boats coming in and out so fantastic location if you're coming to Guernsey and you want to fish and Peterport Breakwater. Also, when it's uh, cruise season, the cruise ship's just more just out here. And you can walk down, have a look, take a picture, and it's just fantastic. Great place to watch the sunrise. Yeah, we're in the pier heads now, so the speed limit is six knots. This boat doesn't go much more than six, so uh, we're right. But the tide's right up. 
There you go, he's just backing off a little bit. The tide's right up and uh, we've got this crab to get off the boat. We'll have the deck lights on in a sec. We'll give you a show of what happens when you come ashore. Right, so we've just pulled alongside the, the uh, well, it's just a normal pontoon. This is Damien's uh, big boat that's usually down uh, Perel, Amber Dawn in the summer months, but it's round here because of the rough weathers. And obviously, as I said before, you can't get insured um, between October and April. So it's round here for the summer, uh, for the winter. But yeah, we're just here. And then we're gonna head to the fish key to offload these crab into bags. There we go, it's a good show of the sickness. Cheeky monkey. So here we are, we're actually going into the fish key. Give you a show of uh, Dan's other boat in a sec. These are the biggest uh, potting boats in Guernsey. So all potting boats, scallop gear on that one there. So they'd be uh, trawling for that. This is the guy's boat, built my trailer, currently for sale I think, so uh, if you're interested and you're watching, get your checkbook out. Right, <laughs> oh, here's Dan's uh, 30, how many foot is it? 35. 35 foot scallop albatross 2. What What is it? What sort of boat? Hey? Three wood 35. So we're just tying up here. Dan's going to give us a show of the trawler. A bit of a mess. Uh, yeah. Check that, look. Some scalloping um, gear on the back there. See some empty scallop showers, obviously, them doing. There's the winches there. Got a fantastic boat. Look, I think it's all been had a new wheel house, haven't you, Dan? Yeah. All a new wheel house. Lovely, lovely boat. Look at that. Give you a show from the back. There you go. Commercial fish key. Oh, this guy here, this boat here, Guiding Stars, this is the guy that does the sand deals. So you can go down and uh, purchase sand deals from him in the uh, summer months. See the Cougars there. Oh, washing machine drum. Special viewing before we go on board the trawler. Massive beam on the boat, which is the width, huge beam. There you go. Look at that. On board. Lovely new wheelhouse, look. Sink there, kettle, lovely seat, even a microwave. Look at that. Brand new, used? hasn't even been used. Down there, bit of a, well, there is like a little bunk there if you like. Toilet underneath. Toilet, here. everything. Yeah. Look at that. All the gear, look at that. Very nice. And a fridge. And a fridge. So yeah, there's the winch for the uh, the cables. How much pulling power have these got there? Two ton full drum. There you go, two ton full drum. And there's all the gear there. It looks like you've been busy. Yeah. <laughs> right. We're gonna uh, we're gonna come off this one, get back on the Cygnus and get back to the car. So I'm gonna give you a show here of where all these uh, Shankers are gonna go, or brown crabs, and what they call a vivier, which is there's holes in the bottom of the boat and it fills up this little tank here and basically keeps them fresh. Chuck the shank in there. There you in go. In here. Yeah. There's some uh, spider crabs. Show you how the band and machine works. twist and that's it. Two bands on each claw. Anyway, so now's a good time. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you click the like button, make sure you subscribe, check out Facebook, Instagram, 
and uh, TikTok. TikTok. <laughs> Thanks to Dan for taking me out of the boat, Damien and Liam for uh, the held work. We'll see you next time. It's Bailey McFishing. <laughs>